ready three seconds to go start the admitted position is that the assignments of work under the roster prepared under the directions of honorable the chief justice changed after the summer recess of 2013 however the same learned single judge who had heard the matter on 9th may 2013 and 20th may 2013 heard the proceedings on 10th july 2013 for the first time notice was issued on that date when the learned standing council representing respondents 127 and the council representing respondents 11 and 12 accepted notice the appellant being an officer of the education department the learned standing council was directed to take notice on this behalf a further direction for listing the matter on 25th july 2013 was issued thereafter the learned single judge heard the petition on diverse date, dates between 25th july 2013 and 10th october 2013 eventually on 25th november 2013 an order was passed by the learned single judge observing that the court was satisfied that there had been an attempt on the part of the then regional joint director of education to overreach the directions issued by this court in a judgment dated 22nd october 1997 and to bring disrepute to the final judgment consequently the then regional joint director of education was prima facie held liable for contempt and his presence has been directed to be secured before the court on 18th december 2013 for framing of charges two submissions have been urged in support of the appeal first it has been submitted that under the direction of honorable the then chief justice the hearing of the petition was directed to be laid oblique listed before the appropriate bench accordingly the petition came up before the learned single judge on 9th may and 20th may 2013 this was before the in issuance of notice once the roster changed after the reassembling of the court at the end of summer recess in july in 2013 it has been urged that the learned single judge had no jurisdiction to further proceed with the hearing of the petition and hence the assumption of jurisdiction was improper and the order which was passed on 25th november 2030 is a nullity second it has been urged that even if the assumption of jurisdiction was correct and proper the learned single judge had no jurisdiction to hold the regional joint director of education prima facie liable for contempt and to require the presence for framing of charges since the learned judge was not assigned contempt matters on the other hand it has been urged on behalf of the respondents that the learned single judge had heard the matter in part on 9th may 2013 and consequently was acting within jurisdiction in continuing the continuing to retain control over the matter despite the change in the roster once the petition was heard in part the learned single judge was justified in entertaining the petition under section 15 of the contempt of courts act 1971 the court has jurisdiction to take cognizance on it 
own motion of a case of criminal contempt full stop